you seen the web? The buzz is a buzzing. People are debating, hating, speculating. This, this is good. This is really good. It does seem like everyone's talking and they're assuming things. We need to let them know we're not an item and are just working together in the ring. What? No, let people keep guessing. That's how you build interest. People get invested in a relationship. Will they, won't they? We won't, Sammy. But the WWE Universe doesn't know that. Point is, we could be the next power couple. We could get our own show like The Miz and Maurice. They're actually married. Are they? Or is that just what they want you to think? We'll never know. I'm just saying maybe we can post something a little cryptic. Maybe just a photo of us together. Then sit back and let the gossip jackals feed. Fine, but only so you shut up about this. And maybe because I do appreciate the attention. Keep it vague and don't expect me to comment with a bunch of heart emojis or something. Friends and allies can use heart emojis too, but fine, we'll keep it mysterious. A rare sight these days to see this superstar by herself. Yeah, I thought she and Sami Zayn were glued at the hip. Look out! Looks like Liv Morgan has caught her alone and is taking advantage. Backstage is where you can lay waste to your opponent in a hurry. They must have lost their minds. Everyone in the back needs to stay away from the oncoming devastation. isn't an area for matches, it's for cars and emergency vehicles. Get out of there. Oh, uh, Saxton, you're wasting your time. These superstars don't care where this fight takes them. <laughs> Reversal, can they go on the attack? <laughs> Standing drop kick. Great ups. Nothing but cold, hard concrete underneath these competitors now. Yeah, one nasty fall could be all it takes to change the complexion of this match. Oh! Exposed concrete. It's just the first hazard you see in this area. There are about a hundred ways this could be ending in disaster. Oh. Float over. Oh, and do it. Float over. Nice. DDT. I don't know what these superstars are thinking. Well, whatever it is, I'm sure it's not good. That's a parking area, not a wrestling ring. And she has an answer for Liv. Straight punch. Well scattered by Liv Morgan. Hook in the arm for a Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar 
are applied. That'll teach her to waste precious time in the ring. I'd say they should be careful over there, but I think danger is what they have in mind. They're out to cause real bodily harm. Oh my God, a small package driver. And more hits up there can leave you dazed. Going for it. Looking for the label lock. Impressive display of power. And she's tapping, but it doesn't even matter. It can't save her here. Just pinning the arm down and then driving a knee into the arm. Saxton, I hope your insurance is paid up. A uh, human bodies wasn't an option on my policy. Ooh, she responds with a counter. And up and up she goes. She's got something nuts on her mind here. She's headed right up the ladder. Well, she made it. Now what? She's feeling it, and the WWE Universe is feeling it, too. This is likely going to have adverse effects on her. She's only aggravating her competition at this point. someone this has to stop Liv holds her off and the assault to that area continues sustaining the attack above the neck region Liv obviously has that Jersey toughness accompanied with a Jersey mouth. Climbing up that service ladder, but I don't think there's any good reason for it. Well, she's reached the top, and I can't tell if she wants to run away or get dangerous. And this backstage area is in danger of being torn apart if this continues any further. I'll say goodbye to our safety deposit, because I see no signs of things slowing down. Puts an end to that. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Oh, man. Three are European uppercut. And these areas are always off limits, guys. No one's supposed to be up there. I don't think they're... Oh, oh man. I've seen it all now. How far is too far? Smart decision by her, choosing to de-escalate things a little. <sighs> that takes them down. That was brutal, but it looks like this brawl's over now.
That was great, huh? You've got some nerve coming up to me after ambushing me like that. What were you thinking? Just trying to convince you to leave my fake boyfriend alone. Duh. But Sammy is my fake boyfriend. Wait, what am I saying? I figured out what you and Sammy are trying to do and I want in. You're getting so much attention. So I decided that your fake relationship made me fake jealous. And you real attacked me? Sammy said you'd be chill with it. Of course he did. You know he's married, right? Of course. I don't want a real relationship any more than you do. Ew. You have some serious explaining to do. Sorry, sorry. I meant to give you the heads up. Unfortunately, Liv found you before I could. But wasn't it neat? Two women fighting over me, Sami Zayn? I'm over this fake relationship, Sammy. We're fake done. No, don't leave me. Especially not when I've just set up a no DQ match between you and Liv for my affection. You want Liv and me to fight for you in the ring? Of course I do. What do you think I'm above flipping antiquated gender norms in a silly but totally good for my personal publicity sort of way? I don't think you're above anything, Sammy. Right? Personally, I wanted to be on a pole for the match, but that's where management drew the line. You'll just have to settle for me being in your corner when you fight Liv. For me. Me, Sammy Zayn. I'll do the match, but if I win, I'm dumping you, Sammy. All's fair in love in WWE, but don't expect Liv to play nice. She's almost as into the attention as I am. I guess watch me is more than just a catchphrase for her. No longer in someone else's sh There truly is a lot to unpack in this one. We've got the continued presence of Sami Zayn acting as, I guess, a manager. Coming off a backstage attack by Liv Morgan with rumors swirling behind her motivation. Liv's motivation is love, Michael. And love makes you do crazy things. I just can't... Oh! Slipshot! That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risks with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. Oh, that backfired on her. What a punch. She's going under the ring now. Guess she was looking for her old pal named Kendo under there. Ooh, and the damage is just going to keep on coming if you can't find the defense for this. And back into the ring she goes. She heads out of the ring. Interesting strategy. She's got a chair, and her opponent is in her sights. Uh-oh. Flashback! Got oh. a sit-out mat slam. Goes into the pin. She's not going. And will this be it? Stops the count before it, too. Clearly, she's still got a lot of fight left in her. 
Ooh, what a forearm club. Oh, step up in Zagari. She's beginning to flag. Oh, my God. Receiving end. Standing drop kick. Great ups. Oh, oh not an uppercut. More attacks up there could leave her severely impaired. Oh, I like this. She's getting a little creative with her offense. She sent flying into the corner. And no countouts means she has the whole outside to play with. Taking this one back to the ring now. Kendo stick to the score. Liv Morgan needs to figure this out. Yeah, Liv's defensive instincts need to kick in. And these attacks are spelling nothing but trouble. Driving a knee into the arm. Kidding me. For the win. Two. Almost ended it there. So, so close. That could have been it. Yeah. It's the mark. Feeling the WWE Universe on another level. This is her fuel. And the momentum's clearly gotten away from her now. Yeah, now she has to turn this momentum around. Two. Breaker. That's gotta be it. And she kicks out right away. Late in the match, but somehow has the incomparable power to kick out before the one count. Turning the tables there. Take down. Rolls through. Oh, man. That was creative. Completely out of it. Going for it. Cross face submission. That's it. That's it. And you can put this singles match in the books. Here is your winner. Wow, just wow. A tremendous win in this match. With a win like that, you have to stand back for a moment and realize all your hard work paid off. Well, if there's one thing people say about me, it's that I am a man of my word. Consider our fake romantic liaison over. Good. And for the record, I dumped you. I mean, for now. People are really invested in us, and so in a few months when we reconcile, people are going to be eating it up. Right. Whatever, Sammy. See you around. OMG, look who it is. One half of the women's tag team champions, my partner. Hello to you too, partner and fellow tag team champion. Isn't it wild how far we've come? You used to hate me. Hey, we've been over this. I didn't hate you. I just resented you and hated everything I thought you stood for. Ah, yes. Totally different, but water under the bridge. Feels easier to get along when we're champs. Speaking of, as champions, how should we kick off defending our titles? Mm -hmm. 
Why not hold an open challenge? Seems a good way to show the WWE Universe that we mean business when it comes to defending our gold. I love it, partner and fellow champion. Okay, that's starting to get old. Yeah, I regretted it as soon as I said it. Look who it is! The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. And it's for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship! Introducing the challengers, Asuka and Tamina! And their opponents, they are the WWE Women's Tag Team Champions, Angel and Ava Marina. The WWE Women's Tag Titles has dramatically changed the women's division, and it will continue to do so tonight. The former tag team champs refuse to go away. You have to respect them answering the champions over the challenge like indestructible villains in a horror movie. A horror movie we've seen too many times. I think I speak for the WWE Universe when I say it's time for a new era in tag team dominance. Will Asuka and Tamina regain their tag team titles from the new champions? Or will the champions kick off Corey's new era in tag team dominance? It's time to find out. Well, that is a sign that definitely gets the point across. Oh, it's shoulders down. Championship on the line. And an easy kick out. She came here to fight, not lay down. Watch her set up in the corner. Ooh, the forearm connects. And Asuka gets stopped in her tracks. Ooh. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Go! Oh, big back body drop. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. Power slam. An unyielding showing of authority. No two ways about it. Shot to the midsection. Connects. The challenger eating up some damage. Bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Disco's clothesline. Ooh. She steers clear of that one. And now dropping the bombs. Placed into the corner. She has no idea where she is right now. Oscar looks to capitalize after the reversal. Oh, Dolly face buster for the title. Oh, a kick out referee right on top of the action. A little closer to getting the pinfall there, but this is still anybody's fight. She'll get sent out the hard way. Frankensteiner. Vicious knee.
Dangerous position with your feet tied up like that. Stuck in the tree of woe. They are doing whatever they please. Just how desperate do you have to be? Why not a fair fight, huh? He's on unsteady legs in the corner. Needs to recover. The advantage in Moreno's corner now. This has to be a bit demoralizing for the Empress. Oh, God. Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Down with a face buster. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. And this is, uh, well, it's not looking good. She's able to get the tag by the skin of her teeth. Yeah. Oh, what a clothesline. <laughs> Steady drop kick. Great ups. Right to the leg. here but to me it's just one move from turning this around uh, uh -oh. she manages to get control to have in store. My goodness. Kick to the gut. Lifted way up. Round and around and down we go. Whatever their motivation is, the Bellas made quite an impact here tonight with their shocking return. 
We haven't seen them in quite some time, and now they just cut to the front of the line for a tag team title opportunity. Don't ever underestimate the Bella's cutthroat mentality. There's a reason they're Hall of Famers. I don't think the tag champions will be underestimating them after this. Unbelievable. I didn't realize you were here tonight. Uh, last minute podcast business. Sorry for not giving you a heads up, but I'm glad I was here. It's just like the Bella Twins to show up and ruin everything. You okay? Yeah, and it sounds like you have something in common. They're also upset about never having the chance to compete for the tag championships. Don't say that. I have nothing in common with them. Those two ran me out of WWE. Didn't your injury run you out of WWE? My injury just sealed the deal. When the Bella Twins arrived, it was the beginning of the end. Suddenly, no one was interested in the women as athletes and competitors. They started telling me I was supposed to be a diva. You should be thankful you don't have to deal with that. I still don't know if that's exactly the Bella Twins' fault. I wonder if you'd feel that way if your matches kept getting bumped for bikini contests or schoolgirl matches, or pillow fights. The Bellas may not have been the whole Divas division, but they were a big part of building it. I see your point. I wanna be a real competitor too. It must have been infuriating. Did I ever tell you I was supposed to give a retirement speech? After I found out I could no longer compete, I was going to have the chance to go out on Raw and have a proper farewell. I really wanted to thank the fans for supporting me throughout my career and tell them firsthand why I had to leave. So what happened? It was cut for time. WWE decided to cover the Bellas going on a double date instead. Wow. I'm so sorry. I never had an issue with the Bellas, but knowing that definitely puts them in a different light. And I'm certainly not a fan of what they did to us tonight. I'm not going to let Nikki and Bree push us around. You know, WWE has been requesting that I book the Bella Twins on ruthless digression so they can do press on their various frivolous projects. I blew them off because of, well, everything. But maybe it would be a good idea to set up an interview. It would be a real shame if anything happened to them while they're recording in the studio. I understand what you're saying. Anything can happen in a podcast studio, and it won't be a pillow fight. I'll talk to Ava. <laughs> 